As many visa holders, ordinarily resident in New Zealand, are stuck offshore, have been pleading to come back to their heart and lives in New Zealand over the years. On 27th March, PM Jacinda Ardern said something in a radio interview which offered ray of hope for work visa holders stranded overseas to be able to return to their lives in New Zealand. Just making sure that those who actually were already here, who for whatever reason have been stranded offshore, are able to return home. So mm. that's something I want to really uh, get moving quickly. And uh, people who are on work visas and uh, have lost their jobs here, how difficult will it be? Jobs here with visas here and stranded overseas, shouldn't we be extending that criteria? And, and, they, and they can, if you are travelling with a New Zealander, for instance, they even say you don't necessarily even need to seek an exemption, you just travel with your partner. Um, but as I have already said, there is another group here who do have lives here um, that we do want to make sure that we are set in to get them through. Yeah. Yes. Then there's another group of people who um, are normally resident here um, but don't have that Kiwi partner or connection and we know that's the group that we need to work on next. So just um, so you know. After a week of the statement given by Prime Minister, Immigration Minister made a statement on RNZ channel saying that bringing in visa holders were the next group they were working on rapidly. A petition by Mandip Singh to bring back the offshore stuck visa holders was presented in Parliament. Singh requesting that the House urge the government to consider the temporary visa holders to enter New Zealand during the border closure. And yet, nothing was done in our favour. When Dr. Bloomfield was asked about visa holders, he said... Do you quit, my colleague. At what point do you think it could be safe for non-New Zealand passport holders to travel here for that exception to be made, for example, for athletes to come through, do the quarantine process and come into New Zealand? Well, that's one of the issues we'll now be able to look at if we're confident about how things are onshore, uh, but, and we're also confident about our border arrangements that we've got good, robust quarantine and, and uh, supervised self-management, um, uh, supervised isolation procedures in place. And then also we are looking at the role of testing uh, in that setting, and we will be moving to testing everybody before they leave. We all had her hopes up of coming back home soon on 9 June after saying that they were looking up at increasing the quarantine facilities for more people to come in. In Ministry of Health were responsible in doing so. Minister clashed with Zabi host because both Immigration Minister and Dr. Ashley Bloomfield gave different responses and then there was a new blame game. That is certainly something which is on the table for discussion. Minister, would you say to these people trapped overseas who have homes here, whose kids need to be educated, who have jobs here, would you say to them they need to prepare to hunker down for potentially a month or two wherever they are? Well, I mean, I think um, that's, that's what people have been doing. And you know, largely um, people are, are in their, their home country, they are with family, they have support networks where they are. I completely understand uh, why they want to come back to New Zealand. I, I do feel for them, uh, and we're working through the, the processes that we need to to be able to um, enable that to happen. Yeah, but would that but, be but your we, advice? But we, all, but we all have to remember that absolutely central to the success we have had in suppressing COVID-19 in New Zealand. On 28th of June, Immigration Minister Ian Lee Scalloway said decision for offshore migrants can come in a few weeks' time. Right after this interview, a couple of days later, Immigration Minister said there is no plan to bring visa holders at this stage. So what happened to all the statements they made before? Statements given by Immigration and the government were changed almost every week. They said they are planning and actively working on of mails to our parliament members, our community leaders, but have hardly gained any good response to it. We received some sympathy emails from opposition party national, but that's about it. What exactly is on government's mind? Why are we being left in limbo? Why are we being blamed for the situation? Why are our sacrifices of staying away from our jobs and homes not included in team of 5 million? We are stranded offshore in different countries all over the world, but one thing that unites us is our life in New Zealand and emotional time we are going through. We deserve to go back.
we got our legal rights visas we need certainty now we just want to go back home we deserve to be answered we deserve kindness and compassion